This is a tutorial for the disappearing loop cast on. So what you do is you make a loop and then you cast on stitches into that loop. And when you're done, you pull the tail and the loop disappears. It's very similar to the magic circle in crochet. So it's how we start the big bow bonnet. For the cast on, you choose either DPNs, a circular needle for magic loop or two circular needles, depending on your preference for working small circumferences. The first and most important step to this cast on is the loop. You need to make sure that you get this right because it's if you don't, then the loop won't disappear. So how I do it is I just wrap around my two fingers and the most important part is that your tail end is over your ball end. So you kind of can position the loop so that that happens, right? So I wrap and then I'm kind of pinching where the two meet and making sure that my tail end is over the ball end. You also can do it on a table like that. Pick it up, okay? So now I just kind of adjust my hands so that I'm ready and can kind of work the knit and we don't let go of the loop. So just make sure that you always have the loop so that you can work inside of it and that you're not accidentally dropping it. So we start with a yarn over. So we have our yarn over, that's our first stitch. Then we go into the loop grab the yarn and come right back through the loop. Okay, yarn over, through the loop, grab the yarn, come right back through the loop. So we've done four now. You alternate between a yarn over and a through the loop stitch. So yarn over, through the loop, Grab and back through, yarn over, through the loop, grab and back through. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's your eight stitches. So once you're finished, you can watch how this loop disappears. You're just gonna pull the tail like that. And your loop disappears. You can leave the loop open for a bit while you get adjusted. You can pull it tight right away and then work it, but probably after every couple rows at the beginning, you'll just give it another tug to tighten it up. Once you have your eight stitches cast on and you've pulled your tail to make that disappearing loop disappear, it's time to divide your stitches either onto the other DPNs or do half and half for magic loop, half and half for two circular needles. So for the DPNs, I find it actually easier to start slipping on this side. And I'm slipping three onto the first needle. I will do three on the next needle and then it just is helpful because then I know that the needle with only two stitches is my beginning of round. Just until we have a little bit more established and can put in a beginning of round marker. That's just what I like to do, but everyone can do what they want. So it is a little bit clumsy at first. So be kind to yourself and just do the best you can. Okay, so we have our tail here on this needle, which is our first stitch. And after you work a couple rows, you will wanna keep just kinda giving the tail a tug to close it up. But now I'm ready to work that first stitch. The main thing you wanna make sure of is that your needles are not getting twisted around or anything. So just take your time on this first establishing row. 
Okay.